Now, there are a number of bullies out there who both bully and do give information or seemingly try to give information, but it's mixed in with a lot of insults. And so the person on the receiving end of this, you know, when they just don't take anything you say seriously and they take they take all of it as if it's an insult, then you get upset because they're not taking what you say seriously, so you bully them more. Then when they say, okay, like, let, let me try to, to see what you're actually saying. And then uh, only a quarter of what you say, you say is the actual information needed and the rest of it is still insults. And then you'll top it off by later saying, well, um, nothing I say can make you feel anything. So you're, you're messing with them turning on and off the part of them that, that should be able to ignore the, the crap that you're saying and try to, to, to extrapolate the actual information out of it, but you won't let them, and then you call them pussies, and then you call them weak, and you call them all these different things. Okay, let's remember something. There are so many ways that people can process information. And some of these things that are required to just put up with bullying, for some people, takes a lot of effort. Because that's just not where their minds are. And some of the things that they are good at rely on the fact that they're good at these things and not necessarily these things. These things are left to other people. These things they do, and they do it well. Everyone has a combination like that. Now, you may say that someone is weak. Well, they're weak maybe in handling online bullying, but they might be able to do some things that you would never have the courage to do. You'd never even dream of having the courage to do. Could be a, a firefighter. They still might not be that good at handling bullying. Are they a pussy? Are they a pussy because of that? Because they don't feel that adults should have to, to think about that sort of shit all the time? Just to have interactions on the internet? But it's mind-boggling with this element of trying to find this, this spot. You're purposely trying to find any way that you can get in and hurt somebody. And you somehow take pride in that. I know a, uh, I, I have an ex-friend, and part of why he's an ex-friend is because of how he treats his wife and how he looks at women. He treats his wife like shit. He tells her f the most f fucking horrible things possible. And the main reason why he married her is because uh, she's controllable. So he tells her the most foul stuff to make her think that the only thing that Matt, the only thing that's good in her life is him. And when she starts crying, he says, nothing I say can make you feel anything. And these are all with words. Well, she should just buck up and not take that anymore. That's not how it works. That's kind of like the society should fallacy kind of crap. Give all the shoulds you want how do we react to what is? What is the least destructive way of reacting to what is? And this whole idea that someone says, well, you shouldn't feel that way. Fuck you. Fuck you with a rusty screwdriver. Telling someone what they should feel or shouldn't feel. You don't get to dictate what other people feel. And your emotions are most likely so dumbed down, it's like, it's like the difference between a nice fitting glove that allows flexibility and a mitten. You've turned, you, your emotions are probably, look more, it's more like controlling a mitten like versus controlling, you know, all of your fingers individually. Because that's what this society does to people. Especially men. And we, we teach ourselves that when you, as you get older, that your feelings will get harder. And that that's somehow a good thing. That going from the ability to experience the complexities of your own emotions 
but you'd rather just dull, dull everything down to it's almost ungabunga kind of level. Ungabunga. And so we end up doing all of these things without really thinking about why. You know, we'll, we'll try to justify it by not taking our feelings into consideration. See, the, the truth of the matter is our feelings actually are usually the deciding factor as to why we make a decision. And it can be the deciding factor based on whether you go with something or you go against something. You might know how your feelings are, and you know that when you, when you sense this, not to allow it to have you make a decision that doesn't make sense. So you take it into consideration, well, when I feel this stronger, I know this much more that I have to react to it a particular way. But we are emotionally driven beings. You can break em uh, emotions however you want. You can break it apart however you want. You know, a series of chemicals, okay, whatever. But there's a reason why those chemicals are the way they are at that time. And the reasons for those things is why you are who you are. Because only you react exactly the way that you do. It's really messed up when we accept the idea that bullying is something that we should endure as adults and we should exhibit as adults. I mean, that's just about the only thing that you, you know, that and, and, and selfishness, but you, you know, subtract those things and just about everything else about being young isn't necessarily bad. But those things, those are the bad things and we're celebrating it? What the hell? So many people don't understand their own emotions about why they make certain decisions because it's the it's the mitten instead of the nicely fitting glove and we do this to each other culturally it's, it's stupid i mean do things that make you feel good whether it's on the short term or the long term whatever as long as it doesn't negatively affect other people do what you will and if you're if in the process of you just doing something it happens to affect other people negatively you can try to figure out why that occurs so you can avoid hurting people unintentionally but there are some people who just in order to keep doing things the way that they do them they will make it sound like well when i'm calling someone a fat cow who should die i'm i'm not affecting this person negatively that's that's on them you know you someone can twist almost anything that could get done to someone that way Someone could twist rape into something like that. Well, I mean, she she didn't really put up with much of a fight, so she must have enjoyed it. No, he, he didn't put up much of a fight, he must have enjoyed it. I mean, he sometimes had an erection, so he must have enjoyed it. Well, this person's an adult. Uh, this shouldn't bother them at all. It's disgusting. Utterly disgusting.